You guys aren't stupid, and you'll get it as well. Ah Eat that, bitch. What's up, guys? Second video of the day, because I couldn't get one done yesterday. I had personal issues to take care of. So the video I want to do today, or the video I want to do yesterday, I'm going to do today, uh... I've been looking back at my videos, some of the things I made in the past, and the one I made on Happy News Story seems to be getting a little traction, so I want to try to do another one, because I think we're all sick of... Even back then, when I made the video, it's the same thing today. We're all sick of what is going on in the news, all the, the terrorism and the bad stuff and bad news, and we want to hear good news stories once in a while. And the truth is, good news stories happen every day, they just don't get reported, because bad news sells more than good news. So, I'm here to bring the good news to you. So let's get into it. By the way, this good news comes to you courtesy of goodnewsnetwork.org. So you can go there anytime, like I am right now, uh, check out some awesome news stories. And also, rather than pick out uh, news stories like I did last time and just uh, report on them and give my reaction to them, I decided to just go in like this and we can all see it together. So I figured that would be an interesting way to do it this time. Sweet shop owner showers sick children with and their families with gifts, meals. Let's have a look. And by the way, if you couldn't tell, my dogs are playing in the background, so I apologize for any annoying sounds that may occur. Tis the season of giving, but for Al DeGuido, I hope that's oh, I hope that's pronounced correctly. If I didn't, I'm sorry. I know Guido is like a slang, uh, racist term. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna call him Al from now on. <laughs> Every season is full of giving. Al is the owner of Sag Sagituck Sweets, an ice cream and sweet shop with branches in Westport and Fairfield, Connecticut. When he opened the stores, he knew nothing about the candy business. He only knew that he wanted to do something to support his local community. In 2004, Al also started Al's Angels, a charity best known for helping the families of children facing severe financial hardship because of their fight against cancer or rare blood diseases. Al has raised millions of dollars and distributed every penny. This year alone, he provided 3,200 families with meals and 10,000 kids with holiday gifts. That is awesome. His advice to us all, we need more angels. We need more angels to get involved so we can help more people. I absolutely agree, and I think that's amazing. There's also a video, obviously, right here you can check out if you want to. It's called A Sweet Man That Knows the Importance of Giving Back. It'll be on YouTube. Touching video tribute gives thanks to firefighters who saved their town. These North Carolina communities would have been toast if it weren't for firefighting teams from 24 different states surging in to extinguish a rampant wildfire blaze. The Party Rock wildfire consumed almost 8,000 forest acres and threatened 1,200 homes in its 25-day streak last month. More than 700 firefighters were working around the clock to make sure no one was injured and no buildings were harmed. This is a video tribute. Maybe we should check this out. I don't know how well it'll play on my video capture. Hopefully it works all right. I think we're going to check this out right now, so let's do it. Yeah, we're not going to check out the video right now. It's lagging so badly on my computer because there's so much going on. But you can go right here, official party rock fire video. Thank you to 1000 Firefighters on YouTube. And check out the tribute video. I think that's really cool. Uh, firefighting is a very difficult job. Your life is on the line just as much as being a cop or... You know, or being in the military or anything else. So, you know, kudos to them. A greeter at Home Depot sings to brighten his customer's spirit. That's that's what we need more of in this world. We need more singing. Uh, not for me. Uh, you don't you don't want me singing. My singing does not brighten anything. It just gets rid of rodents. Ken Williams is not your average Home Depot greeter. In fact, he prefers to do his job with an extra pep in his step. Ever since Williams started working at this Floridian hardware store five years ago. He has made it his job to bring a smile to every customer entering the store. The singer sings, dance, compliments, hugs, anything he can do to lift the spirits of strangers. Williams was reportedly a boxer in his 20s, but his career took took him down a dark life path. That's why he decided to return, turn his luck around and bring happiness to others instead. There's a video on this too if you want to check it out. Muslim businessman erects tallest Christmas tree in solidarity with Iraqi Christians. That is a big deal and it's not so shocking to me that you wouldn't find this on google news or anything like that or a major newspaper a muslim businessman has erected the tallest christmas tree in baghdad as a way of honoring iraqi christians during the holiday season yasir saad i hope i pronounced that correctly reportedly said that he wants to help his fellow countrymen forget their pain over the crisis in Mosul by spreading yuletide cheer throughout the city. The $24,000 Christmas tree, measuring at 85 feet tall and 35 feet in diameter, was placed in the center of the capital's amusement park. This tree represents love and peace, teacher Saba Ismail 
told the Associated Press, as her students took photos of the tree, I wish all Iraqi Christians could return to Iraq and live normal and peaceful lives. That is a very, very cool story. I like that. New York State's first pit bull canine officer changes her breed's image. Kaya the pit bull rose from being an abused pup in a grocery store parking lot to the top dog in the canine police squad. Since she was brought to... Since she was brought onto the city of Poughkeepsie Police Department Canine Force, her and Officer Justin Brusgool have been patrolling the town streets, busting crooks, and being a good role model for her breed. That is awesome. Brad Croft, Director of Operations for Universal Canine, says that police dogs usually consist of purebreds trained specifically for the purpose of law enforcement. Kaya, however, had such enthusiasm and energy, she, he knew she was right for the job. Aww. I love it. I really do. Pit bulls have such a bad reputation and so do rottweilers and other breeds and it's not at all about the breed it's it's about how they're raised it's just like children it's the exact same thing it's about how they're raised and you know that's cool there's a video on that too you may have to check that out at some point <laughs> and dog looks awesome teen girl uses crazy strength to lift burning car off her dad Charlotte Heffel, Heffelmeyer is a normal teenage girl, except when she exhibited an incredible feat of strength and saved her family from a horrible tragedy. Eric Heffelmeyer was laying on his back, fiddling with his Crota brake lines in his GMC truck when the jack gave out. I, that scares me to death. That's why I don't like to work. I mean, I'm not good with cars anyway, but if I were to work under cars, that would just, that would just drive me insane. And the vehicle pinned his body to the ground at the exact same second... An accident spread gasoline everywhere and was ignited into a fire. Charlotte, who was visiting her family for Thanksgiving, saw the commotion and came running. When she saw her father was trapped, she lifted the truck off her father with some kind of crazy strength. That's that adrenaline, dude. That adrenaline will do that to you. Make you into the Incredible Hulk. After she freed her father, she climbed into the flaming truck and drove it out of the garage with only three wheels still attached. Once the truck was out of the garage, she evacuated her family out of the house, called 911, and closed the garage doors to contain the fire. I just did what I had to do, so I don't feel like a big hero or anything, Charlotte said. That is phenomenal. <laughs> this this girl came in, took charge, and saved her family from a tragedy. That's, that's definitely a big deal. Holy crap. Oh, wait. One more I want to check out real quick. Homicide plummets... Thanks to ex-cons patrolling Baltimore streets. Okay, I find that pretty interesting. Let's have a look. The men locked up for drug dealing and crime don't seem like the ideal candidates to prevent ver further violence in the community, but this outreach program says otherwise. Safe Streets is an organization in Baltimore that uses ex-cons to de-escalate street conflict in five different neighborhoods. Since no one knows the heartbreak of gang violence better than the ones who are locked up for it in the first place, the program has had groundbreaking success in the community. There's a strict confidentiality policy concerning the details of the outreach work. This creates a vital trust that cannot be infringed upon by police involvement or the legal system. I think that is freaking awesome. In 2014 alone, outreach workers mediated 880 high-risk encounters that likely would have ended in shootings. Park Heights, one of the neighborhoods monitored by Safe Streets, has experienced a significant decline in fatal encounters. I am a true believer in this program, Cheryl Hurley, Executive Director of Park Heights Renaissance, told Freep. Safe Streets is an outside-the-box violence prevention effort. You've got to find different ways to make change. This program changes lives. It changes the guys' lives. They have a job, and they're saving lives. It's a double benefit to this program. I think that's awesome. And if we could find ways to make things like that work, I think that would be amazing. Because, I mean, let's face it, ex-cons do know the gang life and the violence better than anyone else so if if some of them would be willing to help i think that would be a major major blow to the crime rate in this country and i think that's all we're going to do for right now be sure to check out goodnewsnetwork.org if you want to see some good news every day they're they're always going they're always posting stuff so you know just know that there are good things going on in the world it's it's very hard to see with everything going on right now but it is happening so um yeah, just don't forget that, especially during this holiday season. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like. It'll help me out a lot. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, it's Bobby's World, and you're all just living in it. See, I'll see you for life, y'all. Good news is the best news. Most, if not all, kind of, of the human names yeah. are actual ah, human names in our world. That I, most of them I chose by babynames.com, uh, where I find...